Hey guys, it's Lindsay and welcome back to my channel and to another plan with me. So I am planning out the week of December 30th through January 5th and I'm using the Girls Eve kit from Scribble Prince Co. I am so excited to finally be planning in my 2020 Erin Condren planner. It's definitely been a long time coming. It's already almost March by the time I'm filming this voiceover. It's February 21st, but I don't know when this video is going up, but um, it's been a long Long time coming but I'm excited to finally be filming in this planner um, and I I mean I thought it was gonna be a little bit more difficult to kind of set everything up purely just because like whole new planner different like um like everything has to be widened out differently and stuff like that and the only problem I had was that some of the like glitter headers did overlap with the full boxes but other than that I was didn't have really a problem. It was it was pretty good. I did go like build from the bottom up on the right side and then I built from the top down on the left and I wanted to see which one was better and they were kind of the same honestly to me so I didn't really have like a preference on which one like which way I wanted to do it. I, honestly they just kind of were the same um, but so one full box did end up getting like a glitter header like overlaid on top of it so not that big of a deal. Um, if you notice though I think my second row is a little off um, from the left to the right side because I did go down on the left side instead of the right side so if you can see that right there it's a little off but it doesn't bother me. It's fine. Um, but I used some hollow washi from Simply Gilded and then I used a bunch of hollow overlays from Scribble Prints Co. because it was New Year's Eve this week obviously so we wanted to use all of the foil and make it look as pretty as possible. Um, I did white out that top corner and then I just put the little January script from Scroll Prince Co. up there. I could have used December, but I pulled January, and we're going to stick with it. It's fine. And for those of you who do not know, I do not like using date covers, so that is why we did not use the date covers, and we just put some um, deco up at the top. Um, really quickly, I wanted to mention, I do have new lighting, so I don't know if you guys can tell at all, but I did get some new lighting, so let me know what you guys think. Do you think that this video is too bright? Do you think it looks weird? It, it, does it need to be more yellow? Does it need to be more white? Let me know because I can change the color of the light as well to make it a little bit more warmer or cooler. So let me know what you guys think. I think it looks pretty similar to what I had before. Um, I think it's just not as glary, which might be a little bit nicer and I think you can kind of see the foil a little bit better um, but you guys let me know what you think and if you like the lighting or not or if you want me to change it please let me know in the comments there might be another like couple more plan with me's before I actually do change it depending on my like when I film things and when this video goes up there might be more but um, I will definitely take your comments and stuff into consideration um, but for now, just let me know what you guys think. Also, um, I did change up this kit for New Year's Eve. I was originally going to be using the kind of 20s one. It was the one that was themed for the planner party from School Prince Code. That was originally going to be my New Year's Eve party kit. Or not party kit, but um, just New Year's Eve kit in general. And I was going to use it because it was 20s themed because we are going into a new decade and stuff like that. But I changed it because... I actually had a work party that was 20s themed that I went to um, on January 23rd, so I'm going to be using that kit that week instead, um, just because I thought it was fitting. It was a 20s themed party, and it matches the kit very well, so I was like, okay, I think I can kind of make a different one work, so that's why we use Girls Eve instead. So, yeah. Um, so, moving on to my sidebar, I did leave my sidebar essentially the same as it has been. I don't really have any plans to change it. Um, so, I did put down a um, habit tracker. I just left my step goal one there. I did get rid of the no spend and then I changed it to no candy right now. We'll see if it changes. It took me a second to figure out what I wanted to change it to. Um, also, my writing kind of got messed up, so don't mind that. Um, but that might change, but for now it's going to stay as no candy. And then I did do the little squared off box and my goal is to actually fill those in as the weeks go on because I didn't do that last year. Um, so that is my goal to do that. And so I put a little 2020 balloons from Once More With Love and then put New Decade and then my filming schedule and stuff like that. The rest of that's all normal. So 
Moving on to the actual plans, on Monday I put down the work label, and then I had to take out the trash, so I used a icon from Scribble Prints Co. to mark that. Is anyone surprised that I used Scribble Prints Co.? No, no one is surprised. And then um, I was really excited because I can, every now and then, I can actually use the Shine Sticker Studio Girls. Um, it's not very often, but I can use them when I have very colorful spreads, and I got excited because I was able to use her because she matched the spread pretty well with all her different hair colors. So I used her on a laptop to mark that I played The Sims, and then, y'all know me, I was trying to finish Friends before the year was out, so I used a Glam Planner Lolly and Pop to mark a Friends binge. I'm pretty positive I finished it on the 31st. Yeah, I finished Friends on the 31st. So, um, we did good. We finished it. It's fine. Moving down underneath that, I put down a half box as well as an emoji that's just like chilling on her phone um, to mark that I played all of the phone games. I don't know what phone games I was playing, but I was playing something. It was enough for me to mark it because apparently I spent a good amount of my time playing phone games, which is weird because I usually don't do that. I usually don't spend a lot of time on my phone unless it's like a Tuesday or a Wednesday and I'm like constantly like flipping through Instagram and stuff but I don't usually like play a lot of games I don't tend to do that so I, the fact that I did do that on this day was a little weird um, underneath that I did go to a Starbucks so I used um, I believe it's a coffee cup from Barney and Moon um, to mark that and then last but not least I was super tired I think this past weekend or the weekend like the 26th and the 27th of December just the weekend after Christmas was insane so by the time we got to Monday and my Friday I was just exhausted so I used a little panda eyes munchkin for that who's texting me someone's texting me who are you is it someone I need to know? No, it's not. Okay. Anyway, moving on to Tuesday. Um, I put down a fancy label because this kit did not have washi, so it was easier just to put a fancy label down. And a sleep in script from Scroll Print, or not Scroll Prints Go, sorry, Station Stickers. And even with the tweezers, I put that down crooked, so don't don't mind that. It's kind of bothering me because I'm like looking at it in my planner. I'm like, oh my god, Lindsay, you couldn't have put that down straight, but it's fine. It's okay. Underneath that, I took a filming slate icon, and I used that to mark that I filmed some videos. I, I'm i assuming I was trying to get the rest of those Plan with Plan Miss videos up, and it never happened, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. We're still catching up. We're good. It's February 21st, and I'm finally doing New Year's. It's fine. I'm getting there. I have, what, one, two... Hold on, I'm gonna flip through my planner. Three... Uh, four, five, six. I only have six spreads that I'm behind on now. It's fine. <laughs> I'm getting there. Okay, guys. It's better than like 20. It's fine. Um, but yeah, so I filmed some videos and then I used a munchkin on a couch to mark that I finished Friends. And then I took a fox and cactus pastel haired girl with a laundry basket to mark a laundry day. Underneath that, I okay, so I'm not a big person for... Also, I put this Happy New Year on the wrong day. I meant to put this on New Year's Day, not New Year's Eve, hence the reason why you see me, like, messing with it. Um, but I am not a big New Year's fan. I am not a big, like, I'm gonna go out and party type fan. I'll probably, like, I, the most I'll do is, like, go to someone's house and, like, party there. But, like, I hate going to clubs. I hate going out. Stuff like that. So, I spent my New Year's, which no one is surprised about this, I feel like. I spent my New Year's with my sister um, at, like, one of her clients' houses. She does dog sitting, so it's at her client's house. We watched movies and built Pot Harry Potter Legos. So, yeah, that is how I ran in my new year. We did have, like, apple cider, or not or apple cider, sparkling cider and stuff like that. I don't drink. Not a big fan of drinking, so I was like, I really don't care to, like, have, like, wine or champagne or anything. So, yeah, I had a very chill New Year's Eve, and it was great. It made me happy. I got to build my Harry Potter Legos that I got for Christmas, and it made me happy. So I used a Fox and Cactus Harry Potter girl to mark Harry Potter Legos, and then I used all of the little, like, kind of New Year's Eve type deco stickers are from Once More With Love. So the one with the two, like, glasses clinking together, um, I used that to mark Sparkling Saturn. That one's from Once More With Love. And then I put down a half box as well as a New Year's Eve script from Scrub Prince Co. and then the little munchkin blowing the little like what are they called? I want to I wanted to say a kazoo. It's not a kazoo, but it's like a little party thing and then the little disco ball. Both of those are from Once More with Love. And then on Wednesday, I put down 
the squared off quarter box and the happy new year is again from once worth love and so are the two little deco stickers so i thought it was really cute to do like new year's eve with the actual script on tuesday and then actually putting happy new year on the wednesday in the morning so yeah it, i think it turned out good i like it so moving on to wednesday obviously it was new year's day so i put down obviously happy new year it was also my payday for some reason um, it got pushed up. I'm not entirely sure why, but um, I got paid on Wednesday and I'm not going to complain about it. I got paid a day early. It's good. Um, I also did not mark payday in my last spread and I realized that and I was like, oh, well, I never wrote that down. So that's why I didn't mark it because I forgot. It's fine. Um, and then underneath that I had a bill due. So I put down that from Scroll Prints Co. Technically it wasn't a bill due. It's the Scroll Prints Co. subscription. I just mark it as a bill due just because it's easier. Um, or not easier, just because I also like to, like, what's the word? Like, mark it because it is an automatic payment that gets taken out every month. So I did use, or I did mark that. Moving down underneath that, I used a munchkin with a broom and a dustpan to mark that I cleaned my bedroom. I'm a messy person, and I feel like I have to, like, clean my bedroom, like, every week because I'm a huge messy person. I have, like, the hiccups now, and I don't know what happens, but, like, I have, like... You know when you, like, kind of struggle, like, talking slash breathing and it feels like a hiccup? That's what I have. I don't know. Anyway, you guys don't care. I digress. We're moving on. Um, but I'm a very messy person and I always have to clean my room. So I apologize if you guys ever get tired of me having to mark that I clean my bedroom. Underneath that, I took a munchkin. Technically, this is a podcast munchkin, but I used that to mark that I recorded a voiceover. And then I did watch Iron Man 3, so I used a fancy label and an icon for that. I'm running out of superhero stickers. I did buy some more, I believe, from the Coffee Monsters Co. Um, so those will be coming hopefully soon. But I'm running so low on, like, the Marvel superhero stickers because I use them all the time because I watch the movies all the time. And then, like, Sometimes I use them for work-related things, so I ran out of Iron Man, so I did use the icon for that. And then I did put my nails, so I just used another um, hollow icon to mark that. Moving on to Thursday, I put down the work label, which is very crooked, now that I'm looking at it, it's fine. And a munchkin that is on the computer uploading something, because I did upload a plan with me. I think I published it, yeah, I published it on the Friday. So I used, um... A munchkin to mark that and then I used Celeste from Scroll Prince Co. on a computer because I did play The Sims. Um, I go through phases of playing The Sims where I'm just like must play The Sims all the time and then like nothing and then must play The Sims all the time. Apparently I was playing The Sims all the time. I did play it like two days ago and then I have to get my priorities straight because I need to write my cover letter and I haven't written my cover letter and I still need to write my cover letter and I'm doing this instead but you know... I'd rather do this instead. It's fine. I've been like for some reason push putting off my cover letter. It's been the hardest thing for me to try to write and I don't know why. Um, but yeah, it's fine. I'll, I'm, I'm gonna do it after this because I have to because it's a Friday and my interview is on Sunday. So it's fine. It's fine. Anyway, <laughs> I'm getting distracted. Um, underneath that I took a car icon from Scroll Prince Co. to mark that I had to get gas. And then going down below on the bottom of Thursday, I used another icon because I did have a talk with Antonio, who is one of my managers. He's also my mentor, so I do tend to have pretty, like, frequent talks with him. And I guess it was a pretty good talk because I put down a quarter box and a, like, happy fox and cactus purple-haired girl um, to mark that I was feeling positive, which is always a fun time. And then underneath that, I took in a modi head, or not a modi head, but, like, a... A munchkin with like that looks like an emoji I don't know has an emotion um I use that to mark a busy night is anyone surprised no no they are not but yeah it's always fun when I actually have like check-ins and talks with my managers and I'm feeling positive after because not that it would be rare but like sometimes you have a talk with manager and you're just like oh that was not a good talk but like when I actually do have good ones it makes me happy Moving on to Friday, I put down the work label. Hi, Bubby. Sorry, Cujo's in here now, so if you hear him, I'm sorry. What are you doing, bub? No. No. I have to finish filming a voiceover. You can go outside. The door's open. No, why are you staring at me? Hi. You're a cutie, I know. No. No. See, now, okay, now, now you're gonna pull my phone down, because now you're on my cord. Sir, get off my charger. Ah! <laughs> Okay, good job. No, no, nope, 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 nope. Can I have this? No, I can't have this paw. I'm distracted now. I have to finish my voiceover. 
Chikudo! Okay, whatever. He can, he'll leave eventually. Anyway, moving on, or not, or he'll just lay down. I don't know. Sorry, guys. Distracted by the dog who's just staring at me. Moving on to Friday. I mean, we didn't get very far, it looks like. I put down the work label, and then it was my mom's birthday, so I used a quarter box as well as some balloons from Scribble Prince Co. and a Fox and Cactus pastel haired girl for that. And then I did publish a plan with me, so I used a Mandy Dreams um, film slate, and then I used, um, what's her face? A Fox and Cactus pastel haired girl again to mark Chick-fil-A. Moving down beneath that, I was going through and watching all of the Marvel movies again, so I used Thor to mark that I watched Thor Dark World, and then I did go to Starbucks, so I used another Barney and Moon coffee cup for that one, and then last but not least, I used a squared off quarter box and a fox and cactus, like another pastel haired girl. I used all the pastel haired girls in this little area to mark that I was excited for future months, which I am excited for the future months. Um, I finally got like a timeline for everything that was coming, and when I was finally told the timeline, I was like, okay. I'm excited. I'm excited for what's happening because there's a lot of exciting things coming in the future months, which um, it's going to be insane. It's going to be busy, but I am definitely going to be looking forward to it. Moving on to Saturday, I did put down the weekend banner and I did put down a work label, but then realized I did not work on Saturday because I did ask for the day off like a while ago and it was actually for a different reason and it just didn't pan out to where I needed to have the day off. So I ended up doing some things that with like a friend and um just kind of did things that I needed to get done it wasn't really like anything super major um so I put down a bill due for one of my bills and then underneath that I took another coffee cup from Barney and Moon to mark and Duncan coffee I'm getting to the point where I might not even mark Duncan coffee anymore because it's literally every single weekend that I have it I might stop marking it and only mark it if I really have nothing else to mark which is very possible which actually might still get marked multiple times, but I don't know. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. And then underneath that, I took a munchkin in an ugly Christmas sweater to mark that we took down all of the Christmas decorations. It's always a, um, like tradition for us to leave up our Christmas tree and all of our Christmas decorations until the first weekend after New Year's. And we did do that. So we took down all of them. And then I did have a hair appointment on this day at 1030 in the morning. So I used a icon to mark that. Didn't do anything major. I just got a trim. Um, it was the last haircut that I had that was me completely cutting off my hair. Actually, that wasn't the last one. That was a year ago now where I cut off all of my hair and it was really short. Um, but yeah. Oh, if anyone's curious, I do cut off my hair and I don't need it. That's why I cut off all of my hair. Um, but yeah, so I had a hair appointment and then I did go to the mall. So I used a munchkin with like a little heart that's happy because I did find the dress for, so it's called the Tavon Ball. Essentially, this was the work party that I went to that's 20s themed and I was looking for a dress and funny enough, I thought I found a dress and I didn't. I actually ended up buying another dress off of Amazon because it matched better and it was just a better dress in general. Um, but I, the dress that I did find at the mall is a really, really pretty like emerald green dress and oh my god, it's so pretty. Um, but unfortunately I didn't wear that one, but I will be wearing it in the future. And then after that we did go see, um, Frozen 2 because I hadn't seen it yet and I wanted to see it. So I used a movie marquee and then Anna because she matched the spread the best to mark Frozen 2. And can I just say that Olaf's dialogue makes me so happy, or not dialogue, sorry, the monologue where he just explains everything that's happened. He made me so happy. I was like, this is the best part of this whole entire movie. Um, but I, fun fact, actually like Frozen 2 better than I like Frozen 1, which is, I feel like a controversial topic, um, but I definitely love Frozen 2 better than Frozen 1. I thought it was better and it made me cry and Anna singing in that cave, just, oh my god, it just, oh, uh, it made me cry. Anyway, Moving on to Sunday. Um, I'm putting down the work label and then I did um, put down another coffee cup to mark Duncan coffee. And then we had to go to storage to take the um, Christmas decorations back. So I used an icon to mark that. And then I watched Captain America Winter Soldier. So I used the Fox and Cactus Captain America. I feel like out of every single character sticker that I use, this one is the one that does not match. <laughs> like, because he's like a really bright blue and red and he just, see, doesn't match. But it's fine. It's okay. And then we did have a stew, or I ended up having stew for lunch because they made stew, I think. 
the night before. I don't really remember. But I did have stew for lunch, which, oh my god, it's so good. It's my favorite thing that, like, when my parents make it, I'm just like, ugh, yes. So I used one of those, like, um, fluffy type munchkins for them. And then I used a squared off quarter box and a dramatic munchkin to mark that we had a ton of guest concerns on this day, like so many guest concerns. And I had to have a lot of guest concerns in order for me to mark it in my planner. So um, yeah, and then after that, because I had had so many guest concerns, I was a little annoyed. So I used a fox and cactus girl to mark that I was semi annoyed because like you have so many guest concerns and you have so many people just like yelling at you for no reason. It gets to the point where you're just like, why are you here? Why are you yelling at me? I need to go home and now I'm annoyed. So you kind of get to that point where you're like, uh, okay, why are you all yelling at me? Can you not? But yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and flip through what is left in the kit. There's still a decent amount of full boxes. Those two on that sheet are 2019 full boxes because this is actually a fun fact, uh, older kit. She did release an updated version of this, but I have the older version. So that is why um, it's a different one. And also look at that wiggle. I feel like my lighting did make the foil look so much better. I don't know if it's just because it's hollow foil or what, but like, oh my god, the washi makes me happy. But anyway, I digress. I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me. If you did, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already and leave me some kind of comment down below. Do you think the lighting looks okay? Does it look weird? Does it look the same? Let me know in the comments down below and follow my Instagram if you're not already and I'll see you guys in another video very, very soon. Bye guys!